tip number two is talk to your customers. Um, I, I also alluded to this. It's it, you know it's a it's a one of the one of the things I'm most grateful for having worked as a as a strategy consultant is that you know we had to build interview guides and we had to interview our clients, and it it gave me an overall skill set and understanding and appreciation for how to speak to my customer or client and really demonstrate engagement, uh, really learn from them understand what problems they're facing, and, and extrapolate those conversations into making my product or service better. Uh, so I, I encourage you always, uh, as, a, as a business owner or entrepreneur, to engage with your customer as much as possible. Um, in the end, it, it will, it will uh, come back and play yourself forward you know, fourfold, because the customer it appreciates the fact that you're listening to them, Mm -hmm. And appreciates the fact that um, that that you care. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think that one of my favorite parts of going to trade shows uh, is is you get out there and you're talking and you're pitching your product. And at some point, uh, inevitably, somebody walks by and they're like, "Hey, you're the guy from Fredo's. We use you." And I just like dump the people, the prospects, and I just start talking to these people. And it's so fun to hear that and to hear what their life is like, hear what products there are, and you get these like little insights into. You know, oh, I love your product, but this little thing doesn't work for us. Or one of the things I wish you guys would do is X, Y, or Z, and that just like total that builds up the pipeline for how you can expand down the line. Uh, so one, yeah, one, one other thing that um, I found a, a really great question to ask is, you know, I I, I really do take care and trying to understand and learn my client's business. Um, I was speaking with one very successful Amazon client of ours, who's expanded all throughout uh, Pan European. And I, I asked him. I said, you know, what would you do differently? And it's such a great question to ask. Yes. You know, you, you, you've acknowledged that that the client is very successful at what, what they've done, but along the way, you know, I mean, we're all human. We all make mistakes, and we're always learning. And you know, just asking that very uh, vulnerable question, what would you do differently, is a great mm -hmm. question to ask. And in this case, I learned that, you know, he if if he had to do it over again, he would not have. He would not have incrementally grown throughout Europe. He started in the UK, then went to Germany, then went to France. Sort of that overall progression based on the size of the different Amazon markets. Mm -hmm. He found that that by, that he really missed out on opportunity not not expanding to Italy and Spain more quickly because in those markets, interestingly enough, and I didn't know this, mm -hmm. uh, the the e-commerce infrastructure, the the fact that Amazon has Prime in those particular markets. Is a huge advantage uh, because there, there are no other there are no other uh, sort of you know prime like type substitutes in Spain and in Italy. So his his turnover in those countries, albeit a little smaller, was a lot faster, and his growth rate was a lot faster. Yeah, and I think that one of the ABCs that I'm always told when you're talking to customers is, is those open minded those open ended questions are gold. You know, it's, it's not just the yes or no. You just let that you give them the stage and you just let them kind of uh, spill it out. Yeah. <laughs>